This is my Flylink Tech aftermarket battery, which I installed into this iPhone 6S. It registers max capacity 100%. Usually this might not work. And this is what I bought on Amazon. It was for $15.99, but it's now $17.99. You can see I have record of purchasing it. So, let's see what else I wanted to show. I wanted to show it's actually 2300 milliamps. And my battery was manufactured almost a year ago. So I ran the tests. Uh, that supposedly Apple says HD video playback. I can't purchase something off of iTunes because I don't have an iTunes account, but downloaded a video onto this iPhone and then started playing it repeatedly. It was a 720p video, Hoosiers, or I also did 1080p, and so that's the reason why I'm gonna open up my battery test results. I did compare it to an iPhone XR, which is over here. That's at 98% capacity. And so you can see over here that when I did the playback test on Apple TV, uh, it's very comparable for the 720p test with the Hoosiers and low sound. iPhone success hit almost 13 hours, 12 hours and 55 minutes. But the iPhone XR was 13 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, likewise, when I did the test again, but with a 1080p video, and no sound, so it was able to use the battery more because there's no sound running. It was able to get up to 14 hours and 20 minutes for the success, and XR, 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now, YouTube test was very uh, unstable. It would jump around with... Uh, it's hard for me to tell consistently because Things like the brightness would switch off to auto brightness or what do you call it? 720p versus 1080p. It would just automatically switch to 720p. So uh, sometimes, like in this test for YouTube, I did a YouTube test on a, a long nature video and they were almost evenly matched. The top one is the iPhone XR, the bottom one is the iPhone Success. You can see the difference isn't that much. And uh, this is again another one. So when I do 100% screen brightness, they're about the same. So this is the iPhone XR on top, and this is the iPhone 6S on bottom. They're very similar, but once I switch over to 50% brightness, that becomes a problem because as I mentioned before, it switches between 50% and auto brightness, which is really annoying. But there's a huge difference. You can see iPhone XR is 13 hours, whereas iPhone 6S is six hours. I, I ran that just three times, very similar results. And so uh, the one thing I can say about this battery is it does seem to outperform the stock battery of 1700 milliamp hours. Um, so you don't have to buy this battery, but there's other aftermarket uh, high capacity batteries around 2300 milliamps for the success. Uh, I've had success with using this battery so far. I mean, I've char recharged it like five, six times with no issues and it lasts pretty long. Uh, the biggest problem I've seen is when it hits around 5% battery life, it might just shut off. So we'll see if that gets any better. Um, still stability might be the reason why Apple never decided to use these high capacity batteries or uh, I'm not sure why or longevity there's no way I can test this for like 200 or 300 charges in a week or so but uh, it's not too bad I'm actually gonna start using this iPhone success now as a personal iPhone so those are my results I'll post the results on the description of my YouTube video for you to see so uh, one last thing I want to mention about the, the playback test is that they mentioned that this is wireless, but I think it's more like a downloaded video test. The only wireless part is when it 
I think is when it downloads the video once after you've purchased it. So just take that into account. Uh, as like I wasn't able to do this test with my old battery, so I wish I could have. I should have. Today I'll be replacing my battery with my iPhone 6s. This is a used phone, so maybe it'll be easy battery replacement. Forgot to turn off the power. I'm a big amateur, so eighty two percent. Hopefully, after replacing it, it's at a hundred percent. Here's the fun part, pulling off the screen. This wasn't the original screen. Let's try this again. Cracking the screen. screwdriver to remove the screen. Should take off the battery. These tools are magnetized. Doesn't work.
cloth. Screen. Now the fun part. Removing the battery. So this is the original battery. I think it's the original battery. So I did some of the work. These, these are what these pliers are for. To remove this bottom piece over here. And then you can pull it out. This is probably the hardest part of the battery removal. I missed the old iPhone 4S. It made it a lot easier to remove the glue. Actually, I just say pry it out. Just be careful when you're prying it out. You don't puncture it. You don't damage anything. Tape and yeah. oh, it's killing me. It wasn't pretty, I had to lift it up and turn up the camera because I don't know how unsafe it was. This is not safe, so be very careful prying out that battery. The next step is to install the new battery and hopefully it works just fine. I'm just going to put one of the tapes in case I need to remove this.
goes like that. I messed up one of the things. I end up using this. This is not my cup of tea. So I just wanted to put on one because that's all I wanted. I still don't think I installed it right. But that's okay. As the French say, c'est la vie. Time for me to put everything back together. First I will actually unplug this first. And put it on the screen. So, you don't actually have to see this. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to put this on and then pause this. It's hard to do it when you're recording. Moment of truth, everything is plugged in. I'm gonna pop it all back on. Power on the phone. Hopefully, when I turn it on, the battery life will say something good. So far, so good, 56%. On the phone, the settings. Oh. Go into the settings, click on battery. Battery health. Yay, 100%. Let's go into coconut battery and see what it says now. The good thing is it says 